Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about data transformation in Power BI. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics, land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a pressure or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So, what exactly you mean by data transformation in Power BI? So, data transformation can be a little similar to data cleaning. So, before any kind of data analytics, you might be receiving raw data from a website source, a SQL database, or an Excel file, or multiple sources, right? Once after you receive the data, whether it is batch mode data or streaming data, you are supposed to clean it right you might have to clean up the discrepancies like the blank rows or the blank cells or any irregularities in data such as wrong data type right such discrepancies from the data should be eliminated in the first stage of data analytics so that's exactly where data cleaning and data transformation comes into the picture so you have various tools for data cleaning and data transformation like excel sql but if you are a Power BI user, then good news for you, Power Query in Power BI can assist you in terms of data transformations. So in this tutorial, we will be discussing the fundamental, the most important day-to-day -day data transformations which a data analyst takes care of in the process of data analysis is what we are going to discuss today. So let's quickly switch to Power BI. But before that, let's have an overview of what kind of data we are exactly dealing with today. So we are dealing with Superstore dataset and that's in Excel format. So this is our Superstore dataset and we have four tabs here. The first one is orders tab where we have customer ID, order ID, date, ship date, ship mode and customer name. And in the second tab we have stores dataset which has the details about the customer from where he or she is, the state, city, postal code and which category or subcategory did they purchase and order sales discount profit everything right and here we have some information about any of the orders which were returned and some people over here so these are the four tabs that we are dealing with today now that we have an overview on the data that we're dealing with let's quickly now switch to power bi so now we are on the power bi window you can just discuss changes there you go Let's quickly import the data from our downloads. This, this is the data set that we want to deal with today. Now, it might take a little while to connect to that particular data set and load the data onto Power BI. Just a couple of minutes since the data set is a little too heavy. It's about 10,000 rows. So, let's wait. Shouldn't take long. There you go. The data got successfully loaded. So you have the option of loading what kind of data you want. You have four tabs as we just discussed. You can load the orders tab and you can load the stores tab. And in case if you want the returns tab, you can also load that. And if you want all of those, just load all of those, right? Now I just want the two tabs, orders and stores. 
now here i can just directly load to get started working on this but in case i don't want any kind of discrepancies in case if i have a doubt that this data might not be cleaned i shall go with data transformation so ideally you should go with data transformation check your data first before any kind of analytical processes so let's go with that transform data and shortly we should be having the power query window open on our desktop screens So there you go, you can see the complete data set has been successfully uploaded, both the stores and orders data sets. Now uh, let's quickly check the data from our data set. So here you can see we have orders date, right? But I can see 42682 and 42533. This is not in the form of date, correct? So this is the simple. Uh, uh, step that we discussed changing the wrong data type so you can just click on the lower arrow button over here and uh, or you can right click and here you have an option to change the type correct so it is considering it as a whole number which is wrong so you can change it to date replace current so now we are trying to change the order date from a data type of whole number to date and data type. So there is some error. If you click on error or if you just navigate around to it, Power BI should be able to show you what error was it. And just in case if it's not working, okay, we are unable to parse the value provided. So you can just remove that and try it in a different way change type to date and time zone date i think this should be helpful or if it's not working here let's quickly check what could be the error date time And now let's try to refresh the data. It is taking a little while. Uh, we also have another information that to deal with. We have the first row as row headers. So we should be declaring Power BI that we also have a row header over here. It's taking a little while to refresh. Meanwhile, let's quickly check into the stores data and here we have customer name. So let's try to apply second type of data transformation, which will be like, let's say split column. We have uh, the complete name of uh, the customer. Let's try to split it into first name and second name. So by delimiter and we can give multiple options over here. Left most delimiter, let's say a person has three uh, parts of his name first name middle name and second name or the last name so but we just wanted to split into first and second name so we would go with the first leftmost delimiter and uh, split the data set press ok and it should help us to split the data first name and second name and uh, we can also name the columns separately as first name and second name instead of customer name it's taking a little while than the ideal time but it's completely all right since considering the 10,000 rows of stores data and 10,000 rows of orders data, it is all right. Not a problem. Now let's try to take a look at the orders data set if it has successfully changed it. No, it is still showing as an error. I don't know what's wrong here. It's maybe incomplete. quickly refresh all instead of preview and check if can if it can help us so there you go after refreshing the first order date is changed to date data type 
So what we missed is when you change the tag, it's supposed to add a step. So what exactly I mean by that? Now we are trying to change the second one as well. So just wait for a while and it will give us a choice if we want to add a new step or not. That's when we select the option yes, please add a new step. So what do I mean by steps? So applied steps, you can see something over here, right? So every alteration, every change, or every modification that you're doing, every transformation you're including onto your data will be recorded as a macro. So that can be implemented if you are loading a similar data set for the next batch. Let's say this is 2022 data. And if you're trying to analyze the 2023 data and every column is similar, then you can just follow these applied steps and the same implementation will be automated. You don't have to spend time in doing the same process once again. There you go. So uh, this time it has recorded this step and it automatically ta has taken a new step over here. Change type step one, change type step two. If you don't want the step to be added, you can just select the red X mark over here. It will remove it. And similarly, when you go, when you go back to the store data set, here you have uh, the first name and second name split successfully. And uh, now. Uh, let's say you want to have unique uh, customer data, right? In that scenario, you can just even remove duplicates from this particular column. Just remove duplicates and you'll just have unique uh, data. It's possible that one customer might have uh, come here to buy the same uh, product, you know, the, buy the same product from different dates or one customer might have... Uh, done a repeated purchase so it's possible but again if in case if you just wanted to know if there is a way to eliminate duplicate entries then you can do that so for now let's not delete the customer ids here because one customer might have visited the same store for multiple times and uh, might have purchased a different uh, product or might have uh, made the same order with multiple products Right, so there is a possibility for that. Let's not disturb the data set. So I just wanted you to know if there is a way to eliminate the duplication from the data set. Yes, it is. Now, let's also check another possibility of data transformation. So let's say you wanted to add a new column and identify or include some mathematical operations. For now, let's say I have sales, quantity, discount and profit, but I don't know what's the rate, right? So here, the sale is for to $61 and quantity is 2 but I don't know what's the rate of one product. So I can include that. You can just uh, select the last column or where you want a new column. Just go to the add new column here. And here you can just uh, choose the custom column. It should be somewhere over here. Yeah, this is the custom column. And now if you click on the custom column, you can rename the custom column to rate of product and here you can choose the mathematical operations to be applied on the columns so sales column insert or double click divided by quantity okay now it should give you the rate of each product individual product it is taking some sizable time it shouldn't take so long so there you go you have the rate of product and now let's say you want to combine multiple data sets for example here i have stores data set but my stores data set doesn't have any data related to orders and orders does not have any data related to customers now i want to combine these two is there a way yes you can do that now let's get back to stores and here go to home option and here you have something called merge queries. So now the stores data set has been selected in the first data set. Here, just select the drop down and select the second data type, which is orders. So here you can see stores with the current one, which is in the first place. Now, select based on which primary key you want to combine both. So I want to go with customer ID because both of my data sets do have customer IDs. So I'll go with customer ID and uh, both data sets will be combined. At the end, at the last uh, column, Power BI will show me a new table, not a new, a new column. It will give me a table 
combined with all the columns in one column. You just have to expand the column and select which columns from the second data set you want to include in your overall data set. So let's do that practically. So here you can see I just have tables. If I select the expand column option over here, you can see I have a lot of uh, columns here. So just deselect everything. I do have row ID, I do have a customer ID. Uh, what I need is order ID, order date, ship date, shipment mode, and customer name, I do have it. So that's all I need. So just press on OK, and I should have them included in my new data set altogether. It might take a little while. So there you go, we have the new orders ID, order date, ship date and ship mode added to our data set. Now just click on close and apply. And your data set is all ready for data analysis. Supply changes, but it is taking a little time. So at the end, you just have to click on the apply changes and your data will be ready for analysis. So that's exactly how you can perform data transformation in Power BI desktop version. So there you go. The reset got successfully loaded all over here. And you can just drag and drop them onto the visualizations part and you can work on your data. So with that, we have come to an end of this session on data transformation and using Power BI. Should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or should you require any of the resources like data set PPT used in the session or if you have any doubt. And click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.